we've recently introduced the Tipco Cloud Integration for Salesforce, which you can see available on the Tipco Cloud Integration website. This is a Salesforce Lightning native app that allows a citizen integrator to quickly provide connectivity from Salesforce to other target SaaS applications. This allows users to do this right from within Salesforce, so they stay within the tools that they're leveraging and they don't need to leave that user interface. This also leverages machine learning, which provides an automated mapping and it learns with user inputs. So we can see here, it's simple to get installed, um, just like any other Salesforce app should be, and that allows us to use this from completely within that Salesforce interface. So now that we have our app installed, you can see it right here within the Lightning Launcher. To begin, we're gonna begin creating a smart map, um, which is really just gonna be the way that we get into the mapping dialog. We're gonna give it a quick name, so this is gonna have some context around what's gonna happen. In this case, we're gonna sync some data from Salesforce to Marketo. Now we're gonna pick that object we care about in Salesforce, and we really care about when we wanna move the data. So after an insert occurs, I can select that, so it's very simple to see how this data should be flowing. Then we simply need to pick a target application. So in this case, we're gonna pick a connection we've already built to Marketo. There, we do the same type of thing, where we build that connection around an object and then we'll simply get a list of fields that we want to start to map. So here we can pick a couple of fields that we care about mapping between Salesforce and Marketo. And once we pick these, we're going to start to see some of the machine learning come into play where we'll see the number of or percentage of matches that we found for the fields that we wish to map. And so you can see these things here now where we can start to make those different um, percentage around what the match should be. So it saves me a lot of time and energy from trying to figure out where these things need to go. But if I want to change those things manually, I have that ability to do so. So I can do both letting that um, application pick those mappings for me, or I can manually make those changes. And um, what's happening behind the scenes is the mapping engine is learning from me. So now I can save that map, I can activate that smart map, and it's going to allow that to start picking up changes that are happening inside of Salesforce. So now we'll see as I navigate out to my leads, I can go ahead and add a new lead. And what we'll see is that that smart map is, since it's active, is gonna pick up this event that's occurring. So I'm going to add in this lead, provide my information, um, go ahead and I can hit save. And what that will do is that will trigger the smart map that I've created um, that's sitting there listening for these type of events that are occurring and push that data over to Marketo. So I can see here, I've just created that lead see within my, my list here. And if I look back at my smart map and take a look at that map that I've created, I can see that it was successfully run just a few seconds ago. And here's the data that was mapped across. And here, again, just to kind of prove end to end, that we do have that lead is in existence in Marketo as that target application with the data that I've chosen to map from Salesforce into Marketo. Now we see that since we've captured that newly generated lead, um, that's all well and good. But what we've done also is created a couple of other smart maps that are already pre-existing. This is gonna go and capture updates from Salesforce into Marketo. And we even have one to capture deletes. So if I go back into my leads list and I come back to that lead I've just generated, I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and make a couple of subtle changes to this, this individual lead. Now by keeping these two systems in sync and up to date with it, that information, it enables all my users within Marketo to have access to this really great data that I'm, I'm constantly making changes to inside of Salesforce. So again, I made that change. I can go ahead and look at that um, smart map. I can see that it's been processed. I can see the data that it's processed through. And then I can even go into Marketo and I can check those updates that have occurred. So again, I have that ability to at every stage of the operation see what the smart map's doing, see what it's been up to, see the data that's been processed um, right from within that same Salesforce interface. So again, here I can see that that data has been changed. Everything is, is as it should be with the sync up and running between the two applications. Now, as many of you know as well, deletes are generally kind of a tricky um, mechanism to be able to capture, but here within the smart map, it behaves exactly as if it was an insert or an update. So if I go through and I delete that lead, it will trigger off that smart map allowing me to get that generated back over to Marketo. So even the trickier applications, trippier integrations that you have to deal with become very simple and straightforward for a citizen integrator who's living within Salesforce, can see that data, 
and get the power of that integration, the really simple user interface directly within Salesforce. Um, it gets smarter every time you use it, so it's something that can grow with your experience and can provide a lot of power and um, information right from within your Salesforce interface. Oh,